how old were you when you got your private, my private pilot certificate, and is it ever too late to become a pilot? Now again, these questions I wrote down in my own words, like I said before, these are questions that are just in the top of my head um, that have been asked and continue to be asked again and again, so I just wrote it in my words. Um, so if this pertains to you, here we go. How old was I when I became a pilot, and is it ever too late? Or are you ever too old to become a pilot? So let's start with the first part. I was 25 years old when I got my private pilot certificate. Now, some of you watching this video might think, oh, wow, you were young. But others who soloed at 16 uh, might not think that. Um, and that's the thing about flight training and flying and pilots. There's all kinds, colors, shapes, sizes, ages, everything, which we'll get to in a moment. Uh, but yeah, I was 25 years old when I took my private pilot check ride and got my certificate. Um, always wanted to be a pilot, um, as I've said a few times on the channel, for years. It's interesting what happens as humans. As humans, when we don't know what something entails, what something takes to become or to achieve, it's amazing how our brain, instead of telling us, hey, you don't know, go find out, our brain often tells us, you don't know, that means you can't do it. Which is just a fascinating observation in general. It has nothing to do with flight training. Uh, and that was me. That was me with flight training for many, 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 many years. I wanted to be a pilot, but I lacked really the knowledge. I had no pilots in my family. I didn't really know what goes into it. I, for a long time, I thought, you know, you can only fly uh, if you're military. I didn't really know anything about this world. Um, and I put it off for many years just for that reason. In hindsight, I'm able to see it clearly as, I, as I'm explaining right now. Uh, but once I learned what goes into it, I'm not saying it became easy or, you know, just like a nothing, but it definitely uh, has gone from, it went from, I can't do it, or uh, I, I'm not someone who was born into a family with a, with a plane, and, and, and it would be difficult for me to do it. It went from that to, this is possible. It is a journey that if I set my mind to it, um, and I, I put in the work that it, that is required, I can obtain it, I can achieve it. And not in all that long, it doesn't take years to get your private pilot certificate. And so it's amazing with just gaining the knowledge of what goes into it, it shifted my thinking and I became um, a pilot, I got my private at 25. So that's for me, my specific situation. Some people in their 40s think they can't do it, other people in, when they're 17, they go for it, and they get their private, and they get other ratings, um, and so there's all kinds. But to answer the question, I got my private pilot certificate when I was 25 years old. Now, I know this question is split into two parts. The second part of it is, is it ever too late? Meaning, are you ever too old to become a pilot? Many people, in fact, I'll be honest with you, the... Uh, most of my students, the people I happen to work with, and this is just the way it is, it's not that I, I won't train a 17-year-old. The people I happen to work with happen to be, uh, I would, I'm going with an average age of 40, 45 years old. That's just my clientele. Um, and so the first thing I'll tell you about that is, of course it's never too late to become a pilot. Now, if you're in your 80s, we have to acknowledge and appreciate the fact that you know, maybe as an 80-year-old, you'll have a more difficult time studying and really learning new information and retaining it, maybe more difficult than you did when you were 20. And that has nothing to do with being a pilot. It has to do with being 80 um, and being human. Now, I'm sure some 80s or some 80-year-olds could learn these things and nothing it, 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 with, with, with ease. Um, but then most probably with learning anything, the older you get, the, the less easy uh, let's put it that way, it becomes. Now, that's from the uh, learning and cognitive standpoint of being human. Now, there's a whole other side to this. Many people want to become pilots in order to do certain things in the industry, such as fly for the airlines, uh, fly charter, fly uh, uh, private jets, um, or do different things. Many people I work with actually want to become pilots in order for them to fly their own jets. And so, a thing that goes into that is I haven't trained a 70-year-old, but I'm just in my head starting to think 
as I'm talking about this, if I were to come across someone in their 70s who said, I want to buy a plane and I need to learn how to fly, the older you get, you start running into some insurance stuff. Now, if it's not the insurance turning you down or not insuring you, especially as a brand new private pilot in your 70s, they look at all that. If it's not that, it will for sure come down to uh, your rates, your insurance rates being much higher than you would uh, want them to be. So, but that's, I don't see that happening until you start, you know, getting into the 70s. I don't even think 60s would be a big issue. Um, but that's really the only thing I see there. So, in terms of is it ever too late to become a pilot, the answer is of course not. You could get your private pilot certificate in your 90s. Um, will you get insured on your airplane? Probably not if you're a brand new private pilot. And if you will, it will be an insanely outrageous rate. Um, but then the other part is, if you want to do this in order to go and become an airline pilot, keep in mind, the airlines have a mandatory retirement of 65. So if you're 55 and you want to end up at the airlines, you could, and it won't take you that long these days if you're committed. You could get your 1,500 hours in a few years, and you might end up at the airlines for three, four, or five years. You could. No one's saying you can't. Um, and airlines these days are hiring pilots of all ages um, and of all skill levels, and it's, there's a big shortage. Um, but just keep that in mind. So the short answer is it's never too late to become a pilot. You're never too old to become a pilot. And if your brain can learn the information and retain it, then you're good to go. And if it's something you've always wanted to do, I say go for it. Go for it. It's, in the fun it's an unbelievably rewarding challenge. And, um, and so I'm a big fan. So there's my answer about is it ever too late to become a pilot. So I hope that, hope that helps.